What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Rusty and we are back with this Yamaha R6. So if you guys have not seen my other previous videos, pretty much I purchased this thing for a pretty decent price. Go ahead and you know, watch the other video down in the description. But today we're gonna be doing some upgrades on this thing. Like I said before, I was gonna upgrade my exhaust to something really, really loud. I don't know why I like, you know, loud things. So there is a M4 exhaust on this. It's a couple hundred bucks. So, you know, I can sell this if I need to but we have a box full of goodies right here so we have our aftermarket straight pipe exhaust i bought obviously from ebay and it literally goes on like that in a replacement to this it's literally a straight pipe there's nothing inside of here and this just bolts on to that and i mean there's literally one bolt right there and then it holds on on this one so we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this also we have a I, I exactly forgot what this is called but i think it goes on the gas tank right here so you know you permit scratching and all that i bought this for you know i think it was like 20 bucks or something on ebay i got some yamaha stickers because you guys know them before we were missing all of our stickers because these are aftermarket fairings on this bike this bike is a rebuild salvage bike and we're going to be putting on yamaha stickers maybe an r6 badge right here so it looks a little more legit also we are missing these logos right here so the small one this yamaha logo goes right there and then two of these big ones i think go on the sides right here i'm gonna look at online pictures to you know be 100 percent on that but i'm pretty sure they go on there also for the last thing we got last bit led headlight bulbs you guys known from all my videos I install these LED bulbs all the time. I already have one installed right there. Let me show you how they look. As you guys can tell, these are the LED ones and they're a lot, a lot brighter and a lot, a lot nicer. Once again, Last Fit has hooked me up with some LED headlight bulbs and these are a special kind because they're they are for motorcycles and these are called fanless so there's no fans inside of them and they work just like a regular one and this is the regular halogen bulb right here so very old school good thing we're upgrading to these I'm gonna go ahead install this last one right there and see how they look man the headlights turned out really really good i like them i mean led is the way to go it's new technology and stuff like that so that's a big plus on this bike and i'm just gonna go ahead and keep these you know these regular bulbs just in case something happens to those there's always a good chance that something might happen but yeah thanks again last fit always supporting the channel and let's get started with this exhaust oh wait before we get started on our exhaust let's start it up i'm gonna rev it a little for you guys and let's hear how this one sounds and then we're gonna put on this straight pipe and then we're gonna hear the difference All right, pretty simple enough, pretty much. This bolt right here holds down this bracket, and then both of these holds down this, since this is a universal straight pipe, or I forgot exactly what it was called, but a uh, slip-on, right, right? It's called a slip-on exhaust. This pretty much gets cut right there, and it's a bigger size, so there's an adapter right there, so that's why there's two clamps right here. So it's pretty stiff. I mean, it's on there pretty well, but I don't know. I was digging to look online, and now, I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. I like it, personally, but I feel like it's too long, maybe if it was cut off like right here you know it's like a shorty right there but my foot sits right there so i'm guessing that's why they didn't do that so this is probably about right so let's go ahead start it up and i'm going to show you guys the sound differences in both of these exhausts <laughs> So I can tell in person there is a sound difference. Maybe on camera you guys won't be able to. It's definitely more louder, 
but maybe by like five, 10 decibels, which is not that much, but whatever, this is fine for right now. I think I'm gonna keep this and then also keep my M4 exhaust because this thing is slightly quieter, but it does give it a little better tone. As you guys can tell, there is this tiny, you know, it looks like a straight pipe also, except this is way thicker because on the sides there is holes to muffle the sound slightly, but this does not have it. This is just a straight pipe on. Let me know in the comments below, guys, which one you prefer. Would you rather have this M4 back on there or this slip on exhaust? I kind of like the slip on because it matches. It's like black matches with this. There's really nothing carbon fiber on my bike, so I think I'm gonna go with this one. But still, let me know in the comments which one you guys want. And if I think you know most people like the slip on, I might even give this exhaust away. So let me know, comment down below. Let's get started with the next things. Next step is to put on this tank guard right here here so pretty much it's on i think some yep there's some sticky stuff down there so it pretty much goes on like that not sure why i like the look of it and it protects you from scuffing the tank up also we're gonna go ahead and put these on the sides right here both of these big ones belong on the side for the yamahas and the small one belongs back here we're gonna install all of that right now hey i'm trying to do a video here man what are you doing A-hole, this little brat. What are you doing, dude? Ruining your video? Yeah, you ruin. I'm gonna hit you with this exhaust right here. <laughs> this, we're just joking. This is uh, my little brother, Duck and James, YouTube channel, Duck and James. Shout out right there. And what are you doing with this bike, dude? Oh man, it was sort of a project. It broke on me and then just fixed itself automatically. I'm trying to make a few parts on this thing, but I got one out so far. Yeah, so what year is it? 2019. 2019 and you're trying to resell it, make some money. It's pretty nice. What kind of bike is it again? That's a Suzuki. DRZ125. DRZ125. What are you trying to sell it for? 24, but 24? Oh, I got some issue. I mean, dude, it runs and drives, whatever, right? Cold AC when you're, you know, driving it. So always have that good wind blasting on you. That's what's up. So yeah, my little brother and I, I'm thinking about finishing up this project right here. You guys like all my little stickers? The, the Pretty much it looks all original. Here's the Pro Grip. The only stickers we have left to do is the original Yamaha stickers I have right here. Obviously the sticker's not original, but it's gonna look original. Also this R6 logo right here. I looked online where these belong and they belong right here on the gas tank. So I made sure everything looks original. And I think this R6 badge, I got a gray one, like a dark charcoal one. I think it'll, you know, go with the theme. I think this goes like this. So I'm gonna quickly take a look again online where these stickers belong and this original Yamaha sticker right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put them on. After that, we have a special show for you. Looks stock as heck, don't you guys think? I got the R6 badge right there, Yamaha right there. Everything where it belongs. I think it turned out pretty, pretty well. There goes that one and there goes that one. So I think this thing is ready for its first bath. We have a special machine right there, my little bro bot. We're about to give these things a bath and we're gonna go out riding and we're gonna be taking pictures to put both of them up for sale. Voices shake the ground, you feel it moving with 
It's all good, it's all good, you're still learning. What nice and peaceful weather we have here in Jacksonville, Florida. And the tide is really low. I've actually been to this place before and it comes up all the way to the top of that pavement right there. Dude, there's these jellyfishes everywhere. Just stepped on some, ran one over over there too on a bike. He has a dirt bike so he can go farther towards the water. It's a lot lighter, but I tried to come all the way right here and I was sinking and my bike weighs about three times as much as his does, but it is a beauty. So this bike has treated me well, guys. I've done all the stickers on it. I did the extra exhaust. I did everything I need to do to have fun with this thing. And it is time to go bye-bye because it is very dangerous for me. I just can't help myself. I love going fast, so I need to sell it. If you guys remember from my first video, it is a 2012 with less than 12,000 miles. And it is a rebuild title vehicle. Well, rebuild title bike, whatever you want to call it. And I think I am going to be listing it up for sale for about five grand if I can get 4,500 for it I'll be a happy boy you know what I'm saying my bro duck and James over here he's also selling his bike my bad did I just ruin your video he was taking a b-roll over there but yeah he's also selling this one for two something grand hopefully you're gonna sell it you'll probably have better luck since it's a lot cheaper than my bike but we're gonna go ahead and finish up our pictures here and you know post these bikes up for sale and this video comes to a conclusion guys and the conclusion is that we are selling these bikes obviously so i hope you guys are having a blessed day because we are uh you know we're having fun here in florida awesome weather awesome times so i appreciate it guys subscribe for more videos and be blessed like always deuces